Okay, Lawrence, hi. Um, this is uh, Steve Sabadowski, BayouBuzz.com, and Lawrence Shahardi. Um, you know, we're going to do something different. Uh, by the way, good afternoon, Lawrence. Welcome to the Hangout. Good. You know, I, I thought we'd just do something different, and that is just to talk about the uh, political uh, scene. Now that there's a poll, there's a legislative session coming up, instead of asking questions, let's just let's just have a little chat. And um, so just out of curiosity, what do you, you know, Bernie Pinsonat uh, and S'more, uh, Sudden Research uh, Media, had come up with a poll. You read the results. I looked at the results. Um, I haven't detailed everything, but I have enough uh, working knowledge about it. And so what do you think? I mean, just in general, I mean, well, yeah. Well, the, the poll is certainly not, not good news uh, for the governor. Um, what's most significant about it is this continued decline in his popularity within the state. Uh, I believe, what, not that long ago, the, the poll, last survey that was done, his uh, positive rating was around 51%. And the latest uh, poll, by Southern, poll by Southern Media Opinion Research uh, it's down to 38 percent, which is not good. Uh, those are not good numbers. So uh, it is a problem. And, and you know, one of the big problems is when you're a governor with uh, three legislative sessions to go in your term, the last thing you need is a recalcitrant legislature. And, uh, you know, they look at polls and they look at what's going on back home in their various districts. And if they see this same thing occurring back home, as seems to be indicated by this survey, then it, it does not bode well for a governor uh, to be able to get his program to the legislature. You know, it seemed to me, uh, just looking at the numbers, it just seemed to me the voters were just very frustrated and angry. And, well, yeah. they, they, they are. Uh, it's, it's obvious, uh, not only from scientific data, but when you just talk to folks in general, uh, there is a certain feeling of, of uh, they're just upset. They're, they're not happy with with what's going on in the state. Uh, part of the problem, I believe, is the fact that the governor spends so much time out of the state. That's not helping the situation. Uh, and then with all the massive cuts that have been made, uh, principally to health care and to higher education, people know that. And people see what's going on, and that's a deep concern to them. Uh, so it's, it's, it's not a good situation. Um, and the governor really needs to get his focus back on Louisiana, just as he had when he got elected, just as he had when he ran for office. His focus was on this state, and his focus when the legislature first met uh, under, his, under his first term, when they passed financial disclosure, for example, for elected officials, he was deeply focused on Louisiana, deeply focused on changing the attitudes and cultures of the state. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to get refocused on that. What do you think happened? I mean, how did he get so unfocused? I mean, I, I agree. I mean, I, 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 you know, it. I know a lot of people are just incredibly frustrated, okay, with the governor in the governor's office and his trips and his political uh, showcasing on network TV when our schools and our, our, our medical facilities are just in total disarray. Uh, the the his big education push was pushed down the, the legislature uh, in what two weeks, and now the courts are uh, two uh, courts are claiming it to be unconstitutional up in front of the Supreme Court. People, I, th I think people are tired. That you know, I, I think they want to change, and they don't want Bobby Jindal. I mean, that's just my feeling. Well, I I, I agree with you on the frustration, uh, but you know, you don't replace somebody with nobody. And uh, that's always a, it's always a big issue in politics is, you know, if, if you were in that situation, if, if Bobby Jindal were up for re-election, uh, despite whatever the poll numbers may be, uh, you still have to have a, a capable candidate to run against him. And uh, that is not an easy order to do. But all of that said, the frustration is there, and that's what really is relevant. Uh, you know, we, when you talk to uh, diehard Republicans, uh, folks who you know, just like you have what they call the yellow dog Democrats. Mm -hmm. they, they vote for the Democrat no matter who he or she is. You have the same thing among Republicans. Uh, you have a group of Republicans that they, they vote Republican. And, you know, if you're not a Republican, you really have very little, if any, chance of getting their vote. 
uh, those folks are frustrated. And when, you, when your hardcore base is frustrated like that, it's a real problem. So, uh, you know, my opinion is, is what the governor needs to do in this next legislative session is to be hands on, mm -hmm. uh, to be there, to talk to legislators, to deal with legislators and to get work himself on getting his legislation passed. And uh, as I've, I've said before, uh, while he may be, for example, this, this uh, replacement of the income, corporate and personal income tax with sales tax, if that were to pass, and that's pretty dicey right now, but if it were to pass, it's not gonna look anything like it looks right now. It's a good, most likely, it's gonna be some corruption of what's been proposed. But the governor himself needs to get involved and, and be involved in the process. If he doesn't do that, it's going to be sure. a very, very difficult session for him. But, you know, the governor actually has been involved. I mean, the governor, over the last, say, two or three weeks at least, you know, the governor definitely has been involved. And, uh, I mean, look look at what's happened. I mean, it's, it's the governor, I mean, it's his ideas that just are not reverberating. In fact, I mean, he's actually being uh, torpedoed by his own numbers. And so you almost have to wonder, hey, should you be involved? Because your ideas are too associated with, with what people's perceptions are, which is that you're running for your next office. And I, to me, I think that's to me. I think that's his his number one problem this time. And it's really hard for him to go back. It's hard for him to just say, okay, well, no, this is really uh, you know this is Bobby talking again, and and I'm sorry about this, but you know, uh, follow me. I, you know, I, I don't think people are there. The Republicans are the ones who are, as you mentioned, they're angry. And and if you think it's a you know people think that it is a a uh, say a political issue you know that is that it's democrats versus republicans it's not it's not you know the, the republicans i've talked to are just you're just really angry and they're really angry at bobby jindal because they feel like he has abused them well to get back for a second to the legislature um his involvement right now of course is crucial but when that legislative session starts and when those lobbyists hit the legislative floor and they start twisting arms themselves trying to get legislators to see it their way to keep their clients uh, with that sales tax exemption or this right, tax break or that tax break, um, that's when the governor needs to be involved as well. And that's probably the most difficult part of it because of the direct pressures in the session that are going to be put on legislators from all sides. Uh, and again, not to sound like a broken record, but you're right. Uh, Republicans are probably more more mad than anybody uh, over over what has happened or transpired over the past few years and with the governor's travels out of state and uh, his obvious ambition uh, to run for higher office. Uh, that would be great for Louisiana, but Louisiana has its own problems today, and those problems of today need to be dealt with today. And Bobby Jindal is perfectly capable of doing that. He just needs to focus on it. Yeah, I mean, some things are just bizarre. I mean, uh, and this is why I think that his credibility, as far as I'm concerned, is on life support. And that is, I mean, what, what the sinkhole situation. I mean, he, for seven months, over seven months, he refused. Or he didn't go. I mean, they had people down from, you know, from uh, sinkhole land who were pleading for him to show up, to at least have a feeling for him. And he wasn't there. He was on national TV. I mean, those are the kind of things that create a real disconnect, you know, with the people who voted for him. Well, people in the time of crisis are looking for leadership. And to those folks who were in that horrible situation of that sinkhole, uh, taking away their homes, their land, everything they have worked for, they want leadership. And uh, I agree with you. Uh, the governor not going there when it happened right up right up at the very beginning uh, was not a good thing. Uh, that's the leadership people are looking for. It doesn't mean you always, doesn't mean when something like that happens that you can always walk into the room and say, I've got the answer. Sure. That's not always the case. You right. always have the answer. But if you stand up and say to people, this is a horrible situation, how this happened, 
I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet. But we're going to find out why. We're going to find out how. And we're going to make sure that whatever this is, whatever this is about, that you are going to be taken care of properly, uh, depending on the circumstances. That's leadership. That's what people want. That's what people uh, need to see. You know, people uh, criticize George Bush for his eight years in office. The one thing you cannot criticize is his leadership after 9-11 and the way that he stepped forward or stepped up after 9-11, making sure that this country was safe and giving people a comfort level. I mean, his, his public opinion polls rose, I believe, what, to the 80 percent level, 80-something uh, percent level, which is unbelievable. Uh, so people want leadership. They want, when they elect a governor or president or whoever it is to hire office, they want to have the comfort of knowing that that person uh, is leading them, is being a leader, and is involved in, in taking care of the problem. And you're right, on the, on the sinkhole situation, that was a lost opportunity uh, that the governor could have uh, gotten, not only gotten a lot of political mileage out of, but more importantly than that, had, had, had shown leadership. Sure. More important than a politics. Sure. You know